Hello, this is Shante Schuler with Chiquette Ed. Today I'm going to be reading about Mr. Louis Armstrong. The book that I'm reading is by Vashti Harrison. It's called Little Legends, the Exceptional Men in Black Louis History. Is on part 11, on the, page. the page is page 28 if you have the book. Louis Armstrong, 1901-1971, jazz musician. Louis was born in the same place as jazz, New Orleans. He had a rough upbringing, living in a neighborhood so dangerous it was nicknamed the battlefield. He got his first job at age seven, collecting scrap around town. Riding through the streets, he played a small tin horn and soon realized that he could play a whole song. Louis saved up enough money to buy a nice cornet to continue practicing. Trouble was not far away. However, at a 1912 New Year's Eve celebration, Louis was arrested for firing off a pistol. He was sent to a home for troubled boys. Amazingly, the home had a band brass, uh, brass bands have been an integral part of New Orleans culture since the late 1800s, and Louis was given real cornet lessons. The band marched to, the, to his neighborhood and his friends and family couldn't believe that was Louis playing for real. It was the first major step in his musical journey. At 11, he, he performed on the streets with a vocal quartet. They caught the attention of a local cornetist, King Oliver, who was keen to advise Louis on technique and skill. By 1918, Louis was performing enough to make a living playing in the most popular band in town. In 1922, King invited him to Chicago where he, with his strong New Orleans influence sound, Louis flourished. From 1925 to 1928, he recorded his first records with his own band. They were some of the most influential records in jazz history. He became famous for his improvised solos, unmistakable vocals, and scatting. Louis had many hit records, including La Vie and Rose and What a Wonderful World. Over the years, he received criticism from younger jazz musicians for his old-fashioned stage persona and his silence on politics. But throughout his career, he broke down barriers and took a stand for civil rights. He's had many nicknames, including Satchmo and Pops. But the moniker Ambassador Satch he earned for his dedication in sharing jazz all over the world. So, here is a picture of little Louis Armstrong, and that's cool. So, trouble don't last always. That's really good. Page 28. Thank you. I have lessons that are linked below if you would like to continue any of your education on Mr. Louis Armstrong.